So here's our world history vocab for the terms that are about the monotheistic religions. So we start with polytheism. And what polytheism means is it's a religion that has a belief in many gods. Um, we will study a couple of those, but that will be down the road from now. And so for now, we'll move on to monotheism. And so there are three main religions in the world that we'll study. Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. And all three of those are monotheistic. Mono meaning one, the theism meaning God. And so a religion that is monotheistic has a belief in one God. The three monotheistic religions that I mentioned them already, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, are all what we sometimes call Abrahamic religions because they can all trace their roots back to Abraham. The, that'd be the biblical Abraham or the Abraham in the Torah or Abraham in the Quran because those are the holy books of Judaism is the Torah, Christianity is the Bible, and the Quran is for Islam. And so they're all tied back to, it's a religion that bases its beliefs on the teachings of Abraham. With Judaism, one of the main concepts in Judaism is this idea of the diaspora. And so the diaspora means the spreading. At a couple of different times in Jewish history, the, the people of the faith, the people of the Jewish faith, have been pushed out of their homeland and out into the world at large. Um, and we refer to that as the diaspora, or the spreading of Judaism and the Jewish people around the world. The terms that relate specifically to Islam would be caliph, which is the leader of the Islamic religion. And so the caliph is a person who is in charge of the area, which is known as the caliphate. And in Sunni Islam, they believe that any good, devout Muslim could be the caliph. And so that's a major split in Islam between Sunnis and Shiites. And so with with the, dis the decision to who becomes the next caliph with Sunnis, they believe that any person can be, who is rightly guided, can be a caliph. With Shiites, the belief is that you must be a direct descendant of the Prophet Muhammad in order to be uh, the, the caliph and be in charge of the caliphate. And then the final one is Sharia. And so Sharia is where a law is based on what the Quran says. And so some places, some governments in the world base their law on Sharia law or Islamic law based on the Quran.